Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of Beer, Toys and Banter. I'm Dunny. And I'm Nez. And this week we're going to talk about another another great toy. Nez is going to talk about the Mandalorian Imperial Troop Transporter. And I've got something which I'm looking forward to opening in this. So alright Nez, what beer have you got tonight mate? Well... Uh, as you know, Dunny, I'm an equity pumpkin brew dog. It's one of my favourite beers. Oh, you can get that in there now. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, some some interesting news from Brewdog today, I don't know if you saw it, that actually swapping production in the brewery in the short term to hand sanitizer. I've seen a couple doing that. How awesome is that? Yeah, that's that, brilliant. Hats off to them, that's brilliant. Um, but this i've never seen this beer before um oh, I've never seen it. it's a new one i saw it in uh, in the supermarket it's um a new england ipa hazy jane uh 7.2 percent abv um these new england ipas i were first introduced to them by um, our friend uh, frank rich in in new england and to be honest the first time i saw one as an englishman i would have probably sent it back if you had, if it hadn't been for frank explaining to me it all about un unfiltered unfiltered very hazy very you know what we would describe as cloudy yeah but there's such great beers i've had a couple of good unfiltered and you do it looks like it's it's cloudy doesn't it so that's my choice hazy jane by brewdog what about you well as you did your favorite last week i've gone for my favorite this is Beaver Town Neck Oil. Uh, for anyone who knows me in Nez, this is one of our favourites. Anytime we bring a guest over from America to one of our events, we always take him for a bite of Neck Oil. Again, Beaver Town Brewery. It's an amazing brewery. They do some really great beers. And if you look at the colour, the colour is awesome it's it's crisp it looks slightly cloudy but it's i don't know what color would you say this it's a very pale amber color yeah beer. uh very citrusy it's a, it's a phenomenal beer yeah um it, it, it's my second favorite beer after ili um and as you said they've got some other great beers um smog rocket if you like smoke porters and things like that yeah it's a great brewery i have to say it's a brewery that i've not had a drink in the beer hall we need to do that it's on it's on the list we've got to do we it. need to do that anyway if, if anybody's watching from beaver town and can arrange that we'll be there cheers cheers Ness. good health right so what are we opening today Ness? well uh, the toy that I bought this week is the Imperial Troop Transport from the Mandalorian. Now, there'll be lots of people who, um, as children or as collectors or whatever, had the uh, vintage Troop Transport in the collection. An amazing toy, used to press the buttons on top, if yeah. you remember, and it, and it made the noises and the talk, to, it had 3PO's voice and R2's bleeps and all that kind of thing, Stormtrooper voice. Um, but the only problem with that is it wasn't actually in any of the movies. Mm. And then Dave Filoni made it canon by putting it into Rebels. And then Dave Filoni um, and John Favreau uh, brought it even more into realism by putting it in the, the, the Mandalorian. So that blew me away when that turned up in, in that episode of The Mandalorian. Mandalorian's great. I really can't wait till Monday. Amazing. So... As soon as this was offered for pre-order, uh, and I pre-ordered this from Collector's Den, it's the first uh, thing I've ever bought from them. The service is superb. Uh, you could pre-order it for a small deposit, then pay the balance uh, just before it came into stock, uh, and then it was uh, it was shipped straight out to me. So so let's open this up. So. That again, being a, a, a from the vintage collection, is quality. It just looks like quality. Do you know what I like? What I noticed they've done. If you look on the box, 
Kenner. So Kenner, Kenner's wrote on the box, but it's a clearly Hasbro toy. Yeah, S same as the X-Wing uh, that we uh, that we opened last week. I, I really like that touch, just to make it um, look like proper vintage. Uh, you'll be pleased to know there's not a lot of uh, construction needed. It looks like we just add this top gun on it. So let's open this up, put this on. And that just fits on there like that. Take all the bits of elastic off. So there it is. The uh, Imperial Troop transport. Now somehow this top comes off. There you go. And uh, you can see inside that you've got room for even more stormtroopers, as well on the, as as well as uh, room for the ones in the little pods. And I would imagine that you've got room inside the cockpit yeah there you go nicely detailed cockpit there well, that's nice, isn't it? to put in a couple of tank drivers maybe or stormtroopers again i guess whatever you fancy and then just the back open like the old one used to do i wonder yeah there it is so you can see all the way through there about those I mean, little... that's the thing when you ever get one of them you, you've got to buy at least six seven stormtroopers aren't you yeah oh, they are, they're not out yet are they oh there you go the little seats pull down inside yeah so you've got six seats inside six pods two in the front you're going to need lots and lots of stormtroopers to fill out um, I've got one over there if you want to pass me that one. Yeah, it's it's not a, a, a legacy stormtrooper, but just so we can um, put him in and see what it looks like with a, with a stormtrooper in. I mean, when the legacy stormtroopers come out, that'll be fantastic. And uh, it'll look absolutely tremendous. As you say, when it's filled up with stormtroopers. It's nice, I don't know. Really nice, I'm pleased with that. There's no stickers or anything. No, no. already on. Even better for me. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Very, very nice. Nice. There's a little latch in the middle. Drop your stormtroopers in. Yeah, excellent. Really pleased with that. Good stuff. So, what have you been buying? Well, at the moment, I've actually bought something this week. At the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm finally getting my vintage figure collection finished. <clears throat> uh, so, I've only needed... I've already got them, but I only needed two. So I needed uh, Lumat and Warwick. So, again... So I've been putting off buying them for, for ages. Is that, that's Lumat, right? Yeah. Well packed. Bomb proof packaging. <laughs> <laughs> says they sell the buying and selling sites or as I like to call idiot proof packaging just be careful you don't break them no, uh... oh and free stand which is always great can't, can't beat a free bit So that's my purchase for this week. 
So go on. How much did you pay for that? Uh, I think, I think with postage, you're about seventy. Sounds right. But it, I mean, it's. It, I'm getting to the stage now. I only want two more. I only want one more now. So I don't want to to get anything that's not, and I'm going to have to upgrade. So if if it's decent, I don't mind paying. No, it's in real. It's mint. Yeah, and that's that's quality. That. So where where is Lumat gonna go? Is that is it, I think Lumat's a she. I think. So is she gonna go in your cabinet or on your Ewok village? Well, I've already got one of my Ewok village. Um, all that that's full of Ewoks. So I just needed one for me for my cabinet up downstairs, which. We'll go through in, in another episode. So I'm, I just need that last one now, and then obviously I'm going through the the Ewoks and Droids, which are just going to cost me an absolute fortune. But it, it, I'm not rushing. It's something we can do in it going on. I've just bought. Uh, I won't get it yet because it's in Australia. But I've just bought. Uh, what what's she called? Lady Gornesh. Lady Gornesh. Which were £54 complete, which I think were a good price. I've had mine a while. I think I gave 20 quid for it, but I've had it a lot of years. Yeah. A, a lot of years. They, they're, just, they're just going up and up. I, I wish I'd have bought the ones that I'm still missing a lot of years ago, because they were, you know... Well, I mean, I'm... You know, I'm... <laughs> Fet, how much is fet? Three, four hundred. A, a droid's fet, you mean? Yeah. But the only difference is the cord. And I'm a loose collector, so I'm not bothered. Yeah. Uh, log gray is not too bad. I need log gray. I need a wicket, which is your, the one you've been saying for. Years. I've been to two celebrations, held one in my hand and put it back and didn't buy it. I don't know what's wrong with me. If, if, if it happens again at the next celebration, you can definitely just punch me if I don't buy it. But uh, I, I just love, I love the vintage collection. I love everything about it. I love it. They, they still, they're still great. Yeah, and, and also I'm quite excited about the retro collection. The ones that they, they didn't do, like talking was, was the exclusive one in the in the board game. And in the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back, um, it's Luke in a snow speeder yeah. outfit, which I, I know it's very similar to an X-Wing outfit, but it is just different enough for me for it to be a completely new figure. So I'm very excited about that. I'm yeah. looking forward to that a lot. I got that uh, thingy from that Tom Gorey. Uh, so that's my purchase. So that just leaves me one left for my vintage collection. Awesome. Anyway, Nes. Um, Nes. Oh yeah, we've we've opened uh, new toys, so we ought to uh, just wash our hands. You can never be too careful. No disrespect to the people that we got them from or the people that made them or whatever. But um, these are difficult and d different times and we have to do difficult and different stuff. Um, and while we're discussing that, stay safe everybody. Um, wash your hands. Keep the social distance. We're sitting as far away from each other as we can. That's nothing to do with COVID-19. I just don't like it. Um, it does take the smell of the beer though, I've got to admit. <laughs> Um, here's a little thing. This is uh, this week's Pick Me Up magazine. Um, some of you will probably know that I did a couple of things for the BBC back in December. I was contacted by um, an agency who asked if they could um, uh, put the stuff in a few newspapers and magazines. Uh, before Christmas, you maybe saw um, a couple of things in, in, the, in the red tops. But... Um, th they actually contacted us from Pick Me Up magazine, and they want because it's a it's classed as a, a woman's magazine. Uh, they wanted to do it from Suzanne's point of view, my uh, good wife, 
and uh, so there's a, a nice thing here Darth Hall and it's from uh, Suzanne's point of view and uh, it talks about my obsession with Star Wars and all that kind of thing um, but like all journalists, they don't listen to you and they get things wrong. I've got to admit, I didn't realise Suzanne was that old. Yeah, well, she's not happy about the fact that she, they put in here that she's 58, because well, she isn't. But uh, other than that... It's she's a, 59. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's sat just over there, so as soon as this camera switched off, I think you're dead. No, you're all right. Um, yeah, it's just a nice little article, a fun article. Um, you know, the, the, one of the things I insisted on is that they gave us final uh, proof of it. So they, they read it back to us and, you know, apart from the, from the headline, where it's got Sue's age wrong. The rest of it, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. It, it pokes fun at, at, um, at the collector, you know, it calls me an obsessive. But um, that's the kind of thing that, that I'm quite happy to, to have fun made of me. You know, when, we, when I did the one for Northwest tonight, the, the guy from Northwest tonight, you know, said, "Can we send you up a bit?" And they did, and it's fine. Mate, we we don't do this for a hobby without expecting a bit of a bit of fun. And let's face it, we can give it, so we need to be able to take it, don't we? Absolutely. So, have we got any more Star Wars news, or is that it for tonight? I think that's it for tonight, mate. I think we're done. Happy day as well. Good health. Good health, pal. Cheers. Cheers, and if you like what we're doing, remember to give us a thumbs up, uh, click sub subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in episode three. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Stay safe, guys.